hello again out there everybody. this is going to be a video tutorial on copying and pasting DNA results from Ancestry into a spreadsheet and then formatting the data in the spreadsheet for use later on whether it's to go into a database or whether it's to be a standalone uh, spreadsheet for some other use as you can see on the screen now, we've got displayed uh, DNA matches uh, from Ancestry. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste just a few of them just for demo purposes. I'm going to say I'll start right here with this person. I'm going to left click somewhere up in you know, where it's not hyperlinked and I'm going to drag my mouse down and select this. But let's say I needed to select, you know, a whole sheet, a whole bunch. I'm going to, you know, scroll down to wherever I want to stop, whether it's the end of the page or whatever. But I'm just going to scroll to say here. And then I will hold down my shift key. And then I'm going to left click. And that is a way to select everything from the beginning of your selection to the point that you want to stop. Then I'm going to copy this stuff by hitting the control C as in copy or C as in Charlie and I'm going to copy that come over here to my spreadsheet and I'm going to uh, just click somewhere here not in the corner and click control V V as in Victor to paste the data that I just copied now depending on how much data you've copied and how much RAM you have in your machine Sometimes this is really quick. Sometimes it might take a, a few seconds, but since I didn't copy that many, I'm hoping this is going to be quick. Good, we got lucky. So everything is here. Now, we is, when you see you have pictures and everything here in your spreadsheet, you don't want that. That's just going to be clutter that's going to get in the way, not to mention it's going to make your spreadsheet, the file size, a lot bigger and more cumbersome. So we don't want those. So what I want to do is click on this utility and if you don't have it you want to get it it's called ASAP utilities it's a free app for personal use and uh, I, once you've used it you won't want to work without it in my opinion anyway we've got the ASAP utilities ribbon up here now what I want to do click on objects and comments and I want to delete all objects in the worksheet click on OK now you see I scroll down those pictures they're no longer here they're gone okay so now you've got this data and that's pretty much it well what do you want to do with it the rest of this deals with working with Excel or I guess pretty much any spreadsheet but I'm going to work with this Excel because that's what I have now what we want to do is we want to take this data and transform it from this linear list into a table so the first thing I like to do uh, when uh, working with spreadsheets, one, let's freeze the top row. So I'm going to go to cell A2 and click on view and then click on uh, freeze panes. So now when I scroll up, that will stay there. Uh, the next thing I want to do is uh, give the first column, column A, I want to call that number. And there's a reason for that, as it will come evident later. So I'm going to put number one in the first one. Now I want to scroll all the way down to the bottom, to the last item I've got there. And I'm just going to put an X right there. And I'm going to come up here. I want to number that column quickly. I'm going to hold down my Shift key, hit the END key, N, and the down arrow. That will select everything from beginning to end. Now I told it to. I'm going to come over here now up to my uh, quick task bar, menu bar, click on fill series. And I've got videos on all these shortcuts that I'm taking. Uh, uh, if they're not in my YouTube channel right now, I will post them there. Right now I've got them posted there in a different location for another group. But anyway, uh, we're going to uh, just for cosmetic center that. Now, Everything is numbered so we can put it back in the original order if we get lost. So what I want to do now is, let's, I'm going to go through here. I'm going to call this 
name. We're going to have another column. We're going to call it uh, admin. Oops. And we'll call the next column, say, uh, let's call it uh, relationship. Uh, I'll, I'll call it range. And then we'll have another column. I'll call it people in tree. And we'll have another column. I'll call that uh, 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 Center Morgans. Uh, yeah, Center Morgans. Then we'll call this one segment. And the reason I come up with these particular names is because this is information that's in the data you just downloaded. Again, depending on what your purpose is for doing this, uh, uh, you may want all of these or just some of them. And in this first column, B, I'm going to call that uh, match ID. Tell you, I really need one more column over here. So let me right click this and insert. And I'm going to call this test ID. These are the columns that I use in my database, or the original things I use. Uh, but I no longer use all of these. But I'm including them here just to show you how, how we're doing this. Anyway, I'm going to uh, uh, center everything here in that column and I'll make it bold and I'm going to format those cells to wrap the text so that's all going to fit in there I think it's a bit wide here okay now what I want to do let me click this to make that wide I want to go through here and sort the name column data sort by name now, I've got similar data displayed together. So this cell right here is telling me how many people. That's the number of people in, in the tree. So I'm going to select all these right here. And I'm going to just drag them over to this column. This right here is the relationship range. So I'm going to go through and select all of these. And pull them over to range. These are more of uh, the people, so I'll move them over to the people column. Make that a little bit bigger. Make that a little bit bigger. Now add the group. That's not, you know, that's nothing that we need to keep. So I'm going to go through and delete all those rows. Then I'll delete that like so. And this right here is the name. We want to keep it in the name column. If it says manage by that tell me that's the admin, so I'm going to drag that over to the admin column. Uh, where it says no trees, that that's going to go over into the people in tree column. And share it matches. I'll come down here for this right here. We'll drag this right here over to the center Morgan column. Oops. Now I want to copy that and come over here and paste it over there because I'm going to separate those later. And we'll come down here. Those are uh, more names, so they stay where they are. But these are more trees, or in this case, unlinked trees. So I'm just going to post it over here in the people in tree column. Okay. Now everything left over to that, these are unused rows, so I can delete those numbers. And we'll come back up here. What I want to do now is select everything. I want to now sort by number. Now I'll put it back in its original order. As you see, we, we're starting to format a shape up a table here, but things are a little not quite in the proper line. So I'm going to put this here and I'm going to click delete and I want to shift the cells up. And all of a sudden, all of these are now lined up. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the trees. 
people in tree. Let me just double check something here. That 84 dB. And that's the same. So this particular one comes all to the top. I'm going to delete empty spaces and shift them up. And then these right here, I'm going to come over and delete these, shift these up as well. Now everything is on the same line. Okay. Everything is lined up. And you, in the case where you have managed, that's the odd ball. You have to manually move those. Uh, so we'll move this down to match up with that. And I'll do the same thing here. I think we had three of those yeah, down here. So I'll move this one down here. Now we're good there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through now. And again, I'm going to sort it by name. And we've got all these excess numbers that we no longer need. So I can go through now and delete those. I'm just hit hold down the shift key and hit N, N, uh, N, D, and then hit delete. All that's gone. Now we're left with 20 rows of numbers, 21 rows all together. Now I'm going to put, back, put this back in the original order. And I'll go back and sort it by number. Now I'm going through this fairly quickly. Uh, because this is a video and you can always come back and watch it again and again as you want to. Uh, this is the beginning of your table. You can you can go through using ASAP utilities and you can extract the match ID and the test ID if you choose to do that. Uh, I'm going to show you one more uh, uh, thing I want to clean up here before I end this. Uh, and here we want to just have the number of segments. So in this case, it's going to be everything out here. Now, since this is a small table, I can see everything is one. I can just go through and type in one myself, in which case I'll do that and show you how to clean up on the other one. So this is just going to be, they all match on one segment. Or I could have just copied and pasted everything here, but I just leave it like that. But now in this column for Center Morgan, we want to, we want to delete everything here except what's left as the number and, and and the cm so i'm going to come through here and use excel's find and replace i'm going to have to come through here and find say let's see yes share dna space and i'm going to tell it to replace it with nothing tell it to replace all and then that's done now i want to go through and replace everything after uh, Center Morgan. So I'm going to say across and I'll use the wild card. You know, in this case it's one, but suppose you had some with two segments or different segments. You use wild card and that will del delete that segment and replace all. And just like that, you can see now this is now cleaned up. Just tell you the number of segments. But my personal preference, you know, it's just a cosmetic thing. I like to center everything. It, it, to me, it's just more visually appealing anyway so this is the table that I've got to this point I'm gonna go ahead and make the width correctly on everything you can do the same principle you can go through here and delete the word managed by and just leave the word there if you wanted to put in the test ID and the match ID uh, I think I'm gonna get into that in a different video if you were using this as a database such as what I use in uh, my group uh, then this information is going to be absolutely critical. But for ordinary use, you won't need that. So on that note, I'm going to conclude this video and we'll pick up on the test and match ID in a separate video. Thanks for watching.